Our universe may be terrifying and full of mysteries, yet it is the most magnificent creation out there. Its vastness stretches beyond all understanding. But somehow, its distant reaches of space and time are linked with the tiny particles inside atoms. As the journey goes on, our tiny pale blue dot, gazing into the twinkling stars scattered across the velvety night sky. Even the most pragmatic among us can't help but feel a touch of wonder. But there's so much more to our immense universe that balances the beautiful with the terrifying. So, today we'll be diving into six of the scariest things that are lurking in the cold, icy depths of space. So brace yourself, you've been warned. Number one, gamma ray burst that can cause mass extinction event. When stars at least eight times the mass of the sun run out of fuel, their core suddenly collapses in a blinding supernova, giving birth to a neutron star or a black hole. But when stars 30 times the mass of the sun reach their end stages, you get a super duper nova, a hypernova. One example of a hypernova seen through a telescope is that of Assassin 15 LH. Talking about explosions in space, the calculations of astronomers have shown that black holes, one of the most mysterious and intriguing space entities, explode with energy equivalent to million nuclear fusion bombs going off in space in the final tenth second of their life. The hypernova Assassin 15 LH was 22 trillion times more explosive than a black hole will be in its final moments. Talking of novae, enthusiastic sky gazers should keep an eye out for a star in T Coronae Borealis binary system which is supposed to go nova any time before September 2024 and will be visible from our skies in what NASA has called a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We made a video on that, and you can watch it here. Coming back to hypernovae, it is believed that hypernovae are accompanied by gamma ray bursts, which are momentary explosions of gamma rays, the most energetic form of radiation. Gamma ray bursts or GRBs can last for a few milliseconds or even for several minutes. They are the most energetic and luminous events since the Big Bang, shining hundreds of times brighter than a typical supernova. The other way a GRB is thought to be generated is during the merger of two neutron stars. Energy equivalent to what the Sun will release in its entire 10 billion year lifetime is released in the matter of a few seconds in a GRB. Gamma rays are released in a narrow jet along the axis of rotation. All GRBs observed till date have occurred outside the Milky Way, and that is good for us. Because it is speculated that if a GRB whose jet was pointed directly towards us were to occur in our galaxy, it could cause a mass extinction event. In fact, some scientists believe that a mass extinction event which happened 440 million years ago was actually due to a gamma ray burst. Let's hope history doesn't repeat itself. Number two, biggest asteroid in our solar system that can destroy Earth. In the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid Vesta with a diameter of 329 miles, bigger than the city of Chicago. It is located approximately 100 million miles from Earth. Of all the asteroids discovered before and after, Vesta is the brightest that can be seen with the naked eye, thanks to its size and the nature of its surface. What would happen if the asteroid Vesta, almost the size of a city, were to hit Earth? Let's delve into this hypothetical scenario. While the impact of Vesta wouldn't shift Earth's axis or its orbit, it will surely make its crust bleed. The force will throw material several miles up into the sky. Vesta will create a crater about 24,000 feet deep and 3,000 miles across. On its descent to Earth, the asteroid will build unimaginable heat and air pressure vaporizing ocean water at a rate of one to two inches every second, leaving the bare land exposed to acute heat and eventually turning the Earth into an ocean of lava. From the point of impact, it will take the rock at least a day to fully engulf the Earth. It will remain under the effects of the vaporized rock for about a year, turning the entire surface of the planet to ash. Within a month, the Earth will be completely sterile. Petrifying, ain't it? While there has not been any prediction of Vesta colliding with Earth anytime soon, the mere thought of such a scenario sends a chill down our spine. Number 3. Monstrous Black Hole Near to Earth Now this is a very recent discovery. 
Just in April 2024, scientists found a monstrous black hole lurking close to our Earth. Picture this. A star, once shining brightly in the cosmic expanse, meets its fate in a cataclysmic supernova explosion. What remains is a black hole, a cosmic vacuum with gravitational pull so intense that even light cannot escape its grasp. Now, imagine this black hole not as a mere speck in the distant heavens, but as a titanic entity, weighing a whopping 33 times the mass of the Sun. It is the most massive stellar mass black hole of our Milky Way. But what makes this gigantic abyss more interesting for us is its proximity to our home planet. It is a mere 1926 light years away from us. Gaia BH3 is the second closest black hole to Earth. The closest black hole is Gaia BH1, which is a close 1560 light years away. But that one is just 9.6 times the Sun's mass. The last record holder for the most massive black hole near Earth was Sig X1 which was 20 times solar mass. It is the first time a dormant black hole of such enormous mass was located in our galaxy, showing us that many wonders lay out there cloaked in darkness. As Carl Sagan put it, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Number four, solar superstorms. Our sun has provided us with warmth and light for years, but it can also sometimes don a more fierce look and unleash its terror. The outermost layer of the atmosphere of the sun is called the corona. When the sun decides to release the magnetic energy tangled in the form of magnetic knots, coronal mass ejections or CMEs result, which are huge bubbles of coronal plasma or electrified gas ejected by the sun. Billions of tons of coronal material is expelled at speeds reaching several million miles an hour in a spectacular explosion during a CME. CMEs are often associated with solar flares, which are bursts of electromagnetic radiation in the sun's atmosphere. CMEs, solar flares, and solar storms have wide-ranging effects on Earth. Shortwave radio communication on Earth relies on the level of ionization of the ionosphere, the electromagnetic radiation released during a solar flare is absorbed by the ionosphere, temporarily messing up with the level of ionization, and thus affecting radio communication, even causing radio blackouts at their worst. In addition, when this extra radiation blasted out from the sun is absorbed by the Earth's outer atmosphere, it temporarily heats and expands it, leading to an increase in drag on satellites in low Earth orbit. This can knock out satellites from their intended orbits and send them spiraling towards the Earth. For satellites in higher orbits, the plasma outburst can damage the electronics on board them. Besides, solar flares can cause a surge in electrical power grids, potentially leading to power outages. Particle radiation associated with solar flares increases cancer risk among astronauts. CMEs and solar flares increase during the solar maximum, which is a peak in activity the Sun displays every 11 years. Our sun is headed towards a solar maximum this year. Apart from the damaging effects, charged particles released during a solar storm are funneled towards the Earth's poles by our Earth's converging magnetic field lines, giving rise to the beautiful and fascinating phenomena of auroras at high latitudes. Just recently, on the 7th of May, 2024, the sun expelled a series of at least six CMEs emanating from the sunspot group 3,664 in one of the strongest outbursts of the current solar cycle, leading to epic displays of the dancing lights of auroras on the night of the 10th of May and several subsequent nights. The auroras were visible as far south as Florida, Puerto Rico and Ladakh in the Northern Hemisphere, and as far north as Southern Australia and Chile in the Southern Hemisphere. But even this solar storm was not completely benign. Elon Musk wrote on X that his Starlink satellites were under a lot of pressure and reported glitches. Apart from that, farmers who use GPS satellites to steer their tractors reported anomalies, and high-frequency radio communications suffered interference for a while. Sometimes ethereally bewitching and at other times terrifying, these events are a beautiful reminder of the immense influence our mighty sun has on us. Number 5. Galactic Cannibalism more than 1,500 species in the animal kingdom exhibit cannibalism. But you would be surprised to know that cannibalism exists in galaxies too. Yes, galaxies are known to eat other smaller galaxies and evolve over time. 
Our neighbor Andromeda is currently feeding on one of its satellite galaxies. The remains of galaxies Andromeda had dined on in the past are visible in the form of star clusters scattered throughout our ravenous neighbor. Well, for all you know, survival of the fittest applies to galaxies too. What's more, in about three billion years, our Milky Way and Andromeda are set to collide in a cosmic clash of the Titans. Who will feed on whom remains to be seen? Number 6. Diamond Planet Now this fact may not look scary right away, but I'm sure it would get your attention. Would you believe that just 40 light years away from Earth, there's an entire planet which is believed to be made of diamonds? This planet, famous as 55 Cancri E, orbits so close to its star, 55 Cancri, that it finishes one revolution around its star in just 18 hours. Being so close to its star, its temperature clocks in at a towering 2200 degrees Celsius. But all the temperature and pressure extremes the planet suffers is possibly creating something of incredible value at its core. Diamonds. After all, the strongest steel is forged in the hottest fire, and the best diamonds seem to be forged in the hottest temperatures. But as they say, all that glitters is not gold, or should we say diamonds in this case. The closer you go to the planet, the more hellish it becomes. Its diamond interior is buried under a hot, scorching layer of molten lava. Now that sure is scary. So the next time you spend some time with yourself gazing up into the sky and pondering about our place in the universe on this tiny floating rock, spare a moment for these scary yet beguiling wonders that lay out there. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.